As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue across the Nile, the village of Beni Hassan began to settle into the evening's embrace. The market was a vibrant tapestry of colors, with merchants offering spices and grains in baskets, their aromas mingling with the soft breeze. A woman stood by the water's edge, her traditional attire shimmering with the reflection of the dying light, as if she herself was woven from the very threads of the land. Behind her, the Great Pyramid, silent and stoic, whispered tales of millennia to the palm trees that swayed gently in the twilight. In this tranquil moment, the river seemed to carry stories of ancient glory and the enduring pulse of a civilization that had mastered the art of eternity. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over Lake Nasser, the ancient Egyptian city by its shores buzzed with the evening's vitality. Felucas glided gracefully across the water, their sails billowing against the lingering kiss of the day's last breeze, as fishermen returned with the bounty of the Nile. On the banks, under the watchful eyes of towering palms and silent obelisks, the market thrived with barter and banter, the air rich with the aroma of spices and the sound of impassioned haggling. Amidst the chaos, a young scribe found solace by the water, his papyrus whispering secrets of a civilization that believed in the divine symmetry of the universe. As night fell and the first stars peeked through the twilight, the Great Pyramid stood sentinel, a testament to an enduring legacy set against the canvas of the endless Egyptian sky. In the golden warmth of the setting sun, the ancient city of Ptolemais came alive with the hues of an artist's palette, the bustling market breathing the heart rhythm of a civilization rich in culture and history. Richly adorned pillars stood as silent sentinels, guarding the secrets of the past, while the throngs of people flowed like the Nile through the sand-colored stones of the city. The air was a tapestry woven with a myriad of scents, spices from faraway lands, fresh bread from the ovens, and the subtle sweetness of lotus flowers carried by a gentle breeze. At the edge of the square, by the shadow of an imposing obelisk, a young scribe was lost in the art of capturing words, her story blending the whispers of ancestors with the dreams of a new dawn. Under the eternal watch of the gods, each soul in Ptolemais wove their thread into the vibrant tapestry of a civilization that would echo through the ages, an unending song of beauty and mystery. As the sun dipped toward the horizon, casting a warm golden hue over the Nile, the air thrummed with the anticipation of the festival of Isis. On the lush banks of the ancient river, an assemblage of people clad in vibrant linens congregated to celebrate the goddess who brought fertility to their lands and offered protection to their pharaoh. Statuesque columns of Philly stood tall across the waters, bearing silent testament to centuries of devotion as papyrus-laden boats gently bobbed alongside reed-entwined docks. Amid the flurry of activity, priests bearing incense and musicians with their lyres led a procession toward a barge magnificently adorned for the sacred journey to the temple. As the final rays of sunlight embraced the land of the pyramids, the barge set sail carrying the spirit of the goddess through the heart of Egypt, leaving ripples of light dancing upon the river, a symbol of eternal life and enduring legacy. In 
the bustling heart of Edfu, under a sky painted in hues of azure and coral, the market thrived with life and color. The sandstone temples, adorned with storied hieroglyphs, stood as silent witnesses to the ebb and flow of daily commerce among the throngs of robed figures. Sounds of haggling, laughter, and the scent of spices and freshly baked bread filled the air, weaving a tapestry of human connection as timeless as the eternal Nile. In the shadow of these ancient pillars, a young scribe exchanged papyrus scrolls for vibrant fabrics, his dreams interlaced with the wisdom of the ages. And as the sun cast its golden farewell, the market's energy gradually softened into whispering tales of the day's end, echoing into the history of the land. Under the benevolent gaze of the resplendent sun, the temple of Amun-Re awoke with the vibrant chatter of an eager crowd, their linen garments fluttering like the wings of a thousand doves caught in the gentle morning breeze. Pillars, grand and timeless, stood as watchful guardians, etched with tales of deities and pharaohs, bearing the weight of history upon their broad shoulders. In this sacred avenue, where shadows danced alongside light, an air of anticipation hummed through the throng as priests prepared for the day's homage to the sun deity, Ra. Beyond the temple gates, the mighty pyramid pierced the horizon, a silent witness to the enduring devotion that has flowed like the Nile through the hearts of those who walk these ancient sands. And as the sun ascended to its zenith, casting a golden radiance over all. The people of this storied land joined in harmonious celebration, their voices a melodious tribute to the gods who have watched over them through the ages. As the golden rays of the sun kissed the horizon, casting a warm glow over the magnificent Luxor Temple. The air was filled with a sense of peace and reverence. The gentle lapping of the Nile against the reeds accompanied the soft murmurs of the priests readying their sacred offerings. On the river, silent boats glided like phantoms, carrying stone and grain, the lifeblood of this ancient civilization. The people on the shore gazed upon the colossal structures etched with stories of gods and pharaohs, a testament to their enduring heritage. And as another day began, the temple stood as a steadfast guardian, bridging the ethereal with the earth, the past with the present, in the timeless rhythm of Egyptian life. Beneath the golden hues of a setting sun, the temple of Amun-Re stood majestic, its ancient pillars whispering tales of bygone eras. In its shadow, a lively bazaar buzzed with the chatter of merchants and the delicate fragrance of incense wafting from clay burners. Palms swayed gently in the evening breeze, bearing silent witness to the daily dance of life and commerce. As priests clad in linen moved gracefully toward the sanctuary for the evening ritual, their silhouettes cast long, serene shadows on the stones well-trodden by the faithful. And above all, the heavens painted a breathtaking canvas, as if the gods themselves were pleased, blessing the people with the promise of a peaceful night. Amidst the golden hues of a dying day, the ancient city of Luxor stood resplendent, its majestic obelisks piercing the sky as silent sentinels of history's mysteries. The Nile's gentle waters whispered tales of bygone eras to the lush palms and papyrus that swayed serenely along its banks. The bustling marketplace slowly wound down, the air rich with the scent of myrrh 
and the soft clatter of artisans packing their goods into weathered carts. Shadows elongated across the stone temples where pharaohs of old once walked, reminding us that even in the dusk of time, beauty and wonder endure. As the last light dipped behind the mighty pyramids, the city glimmered like a star-studded canopy, weaving an eternal connection between the heavens and the heart of Egypt. In the golden haze of the desert's morn, the ancient stones of Kalabsha whispered stories of the epochs they had witnessed. Colossal statues stood guard at the gateway to eternity, their stoic faces etched with the wisdom of a civilization that had mastered both art and the cosmos. Palm trees swayed gently by the banks of the serene Lake Nasser, dancing to the soft symphony of a Nile breeze as villagers went about the rituals that tied them to this sacred land. The temple, a majestic testament to human ingenuity and reverence for the divine, basked in the amber glow of the rising sun, casting long shadows that reached out like the hands of time itself. And all the while, the spirits of pharaohs long gone seemed to roam freely, their presence forever ingrained in the hallowed corridors and hieroglyphs that adorned the sandstone walls. In the warm embrace of the setting sun, the limestone cliffs of Middle Egypt stood guard over a bustling riverside marketplace. Palm trees swayed gently as the whispers of the Nile carried the laughter of children and the chatter of traders through the air. Potters, their hands lovingly crafting the red clay vessels that would carry the bounty of the harvest, were a testament to the enduring artistry of the land. The air was rich with the scents of myrrh and incense, wafting from the open doorways of intricately decorated temples where priests prepared for the evening's sacred rituals. As the golden light faded into dusk, the plateau's ancient stones bore silent witness to the enduring cycle of daily life, forever etched into the tapestry of time. In the golden warmth of the setting sun, the ancient city of Ptolemais came alive with the hues of an artist's palette, the bustling market breathing the heart rhythm of a civilization rich in culture and history. Richly adorned pillars stood as silent sentinels, guarding the secrets of the past, while the throngs of people flowed like the Nile through the sand-colored stones of the city. The air was a tapestry woven with a myriad of scents, spices from faraway lands, fresh bread from the ovens, and the subtle sweetness of lotus flowers carried by a gentle breeze. At the edge of the square, by the shadow of an imposing obelisk, a young scribe was lost in the art of capturing words, her story blending the whispers of ancestors with the dreams of a new dawn. Under the eternal watch of the gods, each soul in Ptolemais wove their thread into the vibrant tapestry of a civilization that would echo through the ages, an unending song of beauty and mystery. Amidst the golden dunes of an endless desert, the Stoic pyramids stood as silent witnesses to the passage of time their grandeur unyielding beneath the azure sky. A caravan, a serpentine line of camels adorned with colorful trappings, etched a meandering path across the sandy canvas, ferrying both weary travelers and mysterious wares bound for distant lands. The oasis, a mirage of lush palms, beckoned the nomads with the promise of shade and sweet water, a haven in the midst of arid solitude. Above, a ballet of birds traced patterns in the heavens, 
their carefree dance a stark contrast to the deliberate pace of the journeyers below. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the world in hues of fiery orange and soothing indigo, the night prepared to embrace the land, ready to unveil its own secrets beneath a tapestry of stars. In the warmth of the ancient Gilf Kebir Plateau, the golden sun cast elongated shadows over the sand as a gentle breeze carried the faint sound of a caravan's bell. Amid the monolithic rock formations, a traveler paused, her hand resting softly on her faithful camel's neck, while she marveled at the timeless dance between light and stone. Nearby, a small group of nomads gathered around a vital oasis, their laughter rippling through the air, mingling with the murmur of the cool, life-giving waters. A flock of birds, like dark silhouettes against the fiery sky, soared above, signaling the close of the day's journey. As nightfall approached, the desert's vast canvas embraced the caravan, promising rest under the stars and whispering tales of the ancients who once walked these same paths. As the sun dipped toward the horizon, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, the tranquil waters of the Nile Delta reflected the warmth of the fading light. Fishermen in slender boats glided gracefully among the reeds, casting nets that shimmered like gossamer in the golden rays, while a flock of birds soared overhead, etching patterns in the sky. The majestic pyramids, silent sentinels of time, watched over the lush landscape, their stone faces aglow with the day's last light. In the cool air, the scent of water lilies mixed with the earthy aroma of fertile soil, a testament to the river's life-giving powers. As night approached, the delta whispered tales of ancient Egypt, of pharaohs and deities woven into the fabric of the rippling waters and the rustling of the papyrus. On the tranquil banks of the Nile, the warmth of the golden sun kissed the tips of towering palm trees and caressed the smooth stones that dotted the water's edge. Felucas, with their sails unfurled like the wings of Horus, glided gracefully across the shimmering river, carrying whispers of ancient secrets and silent promises. In the distance, the Great Pyramid stood sentinel its eyes eternally gazing out towards the horizon, where the sky painted hues of pink and orange as the day drew to a close. The soft hum of the marketplace filled the air, while merchants and travelers bartered for treasures that held stories of distant lands and mystical powers. As the veils of dusk fell upon this tableau of serenity, Aswan continued to pulse with life, unforgotten and enduring a jewel nestled in the heart of Egyptian grandeur. Beneath the watchful gaze of the Great Pyramid, bordered by stately palms, the tranquil waters of Lake Moeris whispered stories of ancient times. Small boats glided smoothly across the serene blue their reflection mingling with the blossoming lotus flowers that dotted the surface like stars in a twilight sky. A gentle breeze stirred the air, carrying the scent of fresh blooms and the soft hum of distant chants from a nearby temple. Fishermen cast their nets with a rhythm as old as the sand dunes, while traders bartered busily, their voices echoing the vibrant pulse of a civilization untouched by the ebb of time. As the sun sank low, bathing the scene in golden hues, the lake continued its silent recital of myths and memories, an eternal testament to the splendor of a bygone era.
In the warm embrace of the morning sun, the ancient avenue of sphinxes awakened, stretching far beyond the eye's reach, a testament to a civilization that mastered both stone and time. Each sphinx, a guardian of lore, bore the visage of great pharaohs, their gaze eternally fixed upon the horizon, as if to challenge the relentless march of the ages. Palms swayed gently at the pathway's edge, whispering secrets of the past to the wind that danced among the hieroglyphs inscribed in stone sentinels. A tranquil canal mirrored the golden light, binding the celestial to the earthly, weaving through the relics of splendor rooted in the desert's embrace. Here, history's echo was loudest in the quiet reverence of these hallowed grounds where stories of gods and men were etched into the very soul of the earth. As the first light of dawn kissed the ancient stones of Giza, the bustling market by the riverbanks awoke. Merchants unfurled vibrant canvases, shading treasures collected from the far reaches of the kingdom beneath them. The majestic pyramid, ever watchful, stood sentinel over this daily symphony of barter and banter, as it had for countless generations. Boatmen skillfully navigated the Nile's embrace, their wooden vessels dancing between patches of golden sun and cool shadow. In this haven of humanity, time seemed to weave itself into the tapestry of the present, connecting a rich past with the pulse of now. In the warm embrace of the descending sun, the sands of ancient Egypt whispered tales of millennia as the golden hues bathed the timeless pyramids. A gentle breeze stirred the waters of the Wadi El Rayon, coaxing ripples to dance and play with the reflections of flamingo flocks wading in the shallows. Through the fronds of the whispering palms, a caravan of desert gazelles tread softly, their elegant silhouettes a testament to the grace of the wild. Melodies of the desert life swirled with the wind, carrying the distant chatter of market discussions and the soft clang of artisan tools. As day surrendered to twilight, the sky painted itself in shades of amber and rose, promising that the stories etched in the land's memory would endure another starlit night. Amidst the bustling life of El Kab, the ever-emerald Nile hugged the bustling marketplace tightly as vendors called out the virtues of their fresh wares under the shade of graceful palms. Felucas, with their sails full and taut like the wings of Horus, glided over the water, their hulls heavy with treasures from distant lands. On the stone-lined quay, the aroma of spices mingled with the salty kiss of the river, wrapping around the chattering folks like a warm, welcoming embrace. Children darted between the stalls, their laughter creating a melody that competed with the calls of the fishmongers and the song of the water against the boats. And as the sun descended towards the horizon, casting pyramids and palms in a golden hue, the heart of El Cobb pulsed with the timeless rhythm of river and life. Beneath the watchful gaze of the eternal pyramids, the life-giving Nile meandered, mirroring the azure sky. Palm trees swayed gently at the riverbank, whispering secrets of the ancient sands to each passing breeze. Felucas, with their billowing sails, danced upon the water like delicate waterfowl, carrying merchants and their exotic wares to the bustling bazaars that awaited them. Camel caravans, adorned with colorful fabrics, paused by the water's edge as travelers and mystics rested under the shade of makeshift tents. 
In this timeless scape, where history's embrace was as warm as the Egyptian sun, every grain of sand held a story, every ripple a melody from days of yore. Beneath the vast canvas of azure and gold, the Gebel Uenat stood resolute, a monolith whispering tales of ancient times. Caravans moved like lines of poetry across the desert floor, their camels casting long shadows in the morning sun, a testament to the endurance of life in the embrace of the Sahara. Palm trees swayed gently at the mountain's feet, guardians of an oasis that had slaked the thirst of travelers since pharaohs ruled the Nile. A gentle breeze carried the scent of the desert blooms, mingling with the rhythmic sounds of shifting sands and the soft bellows of the camels. Here, in this timeless passage, the footprints of the past met the steps of the present, weaving an eternal story in the heart of Egypt.